Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I have got some rallies for you. Let's take a look. So h Bone has been kind of like the main target for the past, I don't know, May Day. So we, we got a 376,000 drop on this guy. It was a 17 mil might drop. It wasn't too bad, really. Um, as you can tell, it was pretty costly in tier 3's form. Once it came through, you can see he used Trickster for leader, so that really didn't help him too much. Um, and again, it was an int in Phalanx, so... Yeah, it was, it was to be expected, and I went ahead and sent, uh, sent my solos and pretty much cleared them out. Um, and again, the, the the main thing about this kind of stuff too, right, is that, you know, I don't know, man, it's 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 always fun to go after and rally these people, because it's just, <laughs> they make it too easy. So we got his leader, killed another 25k, you know, cleaned him out pretty much. You can tell I was pretty hefty on the resources at the time. Um, and again, the beauty of hitting these players, man, is that they just keep and keep. They're like they're abundant in this game. I can find them all the time. They're really fun to fight. So, of course, uh, you know this one came in today. Uh, we went ahead, we went after and rallied Mr. Zong. You know, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name, really. But uh, you can you can tell I, I pretty much drained my resources up to that point. And in this hit, we dropped him about 30 million might. It was 816,000 dead. Um, and again, you can see here that his dead is pretty, pretty hefty on the tier 3 side in the first hit. Um, and again, you know, I, I was trying to clear him out, so, uh, you know, at this point, again, you notice I've got six marches, and, well, basically, I, I hit this guy kind of on the on the run, so I didn't really, I did not really plan this one out at all. Um, and yeah, obviously, you know, I was, like, trying to decide what to send, um, especially leaders-wise. I was like, well, do I use cab? Do I use this? I'm like, ugh, I don't know what to send. I eventually came to the decision to use, like, Cav, but I hadn't switched my Infure at the time. So this is, you know, a minor mistake on my end, but I was kind of in a hurry, so... Because, again, you never know what these guys will do. You don't know if they'll shield or whatever, so I was trying to clear them out as quick as I could. Probably not, not the most effective way to do it, but I figured, uh, hell, we might as well give it a try. So again, you know, second hit, this time on a solo. We killed another 150,000. Um, and then again, you know, that's pretty arbitrary because we already know that it's mostly like, most likely tier threes. Um, uh, yeah, obviously, I, you know, at this point he's at 81 million knife. Uh, and again, you know, he's, you know, I can only hit him once at a time, <laughs> which was really slowing me down. At this point, I realized, you know, I probably should have been sending these kind of marches initially, but uh, and then I was like, oh, great, forgot to heal. So I'm sitting here trying to heal, you know, and so it, yeah, you know, it's you know, little things that you know you want to make sure you try not to do when you're in the middle of a rally, or much less hitting solos. But um, then again, you know, when you're like me, you're just kind of on the rush and you're just trying to get through these guys as quick as you possibly can. Um, but ultimately, you know, I hit and, and then I figured out that I hit a garrison. I was at 48k, so I lost 8k, which really, really bummed me out a little bit. I saw that and I was like, oh dude, come on, tears like quit sitting garrisons, damn it, because I can only send one march at a time, so. As soon as I realized that they were going to garrison him to try and defend all the gold he had in there. Because again, all right, uh, in this guy here, you'll actually see it. He has 128 million gold in there. So it's a lot of gold. He's got a lot of troops and he still had his leader out. So I was like, oh, dude, we got to get him. We got to get him. So I'm, uh, I'm sitting here trying to coordinate. Uh, so you might notice a guy up there on the top left or sort of in the top left anyway. His name's Alpha. So Alpha there, he's, you know, he's got himself pretty much, uh, he's, he's like Alpha Helix, I, I think it's, his name is Alpha Helix too, um, but you know, so essentially, yeah, two Alpha Helix too, there you go, yeah, uh, anyway, the point is, right, so I'm pulling my marches back after, yeah, so this is, you know, again, a completely new move on my end, but, you know, so I have seven, like, six or seven marches running in the back, you know, as I'm, you know, because I was, you know, I had them going out gathering, I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into this when I was rallying, you can tell, I'm not sitting very much at him either, you know. I'm like, I'm running on bare minimum minimum here, so I'm like, I'm like, great. I'll just pop a twenty mil, you know. Great, no, no big deal. I'll just pop, you know, I'll pop this and we'll rebuild and just yada yada yada. It doesn't really matter. Um, but again, as you can tell, you know, I'm just sitting here trying to hit him, and then you know, Alpha takes a look at him. He's like, hmm, I think I could probably get him. At this point, I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna keep sending my march. Some point he's gonna flop. At some point, even though I'm using, you know, barely anything, and I, I went ahead and spout it. You know, I'm like, all right, let's go for it. And I burned him on that hit, and of course he didn't. You know, his garrison uh, didn't really do much good because he fell. So there was another 138,000 dead, um, and of course Alpha goes in for the kill. So Alpha here, he pretty much notices the opportune moment, so he goes and sends his march. And notice that uh, here shortly Tex will start sending his march. 
And yeah, I mean, it's really just, it's exciting, you know, because again, when you're going after these kind of targets, you always want to make sure that you kind of clear these guys as quick as you can. It's, it's a miracle this guy didn't shield at any given point. Because I was just trying to rush at this point to kind of like collapse in what he has. You can see Alpha gets his leader. And of course, Alpha, you know, grabs the leader, takes off with it, runs runs for the hills. Um, and to be honest with you, I, that was God tier coming from Alpha, getting, getting his leader and running off with it. Um, but of course, uh, you know, th that's the beauty of like hitting out these targets. So, you know, and, and a real quick jiffy, we're sitting here trying to get get the gold. And you can see they keep trying to garrison him. They're, they're going to keep trying to prevent us from uh, actually marching. So at this point, I'm just starting to start. I'm trying to bring in my, you know, my gatherers because I'm, I'm sitting here like I need to be able to send multiple marches and I need to be able to send them quick. So I'm sitting here trying to speed them up. Now, obviously, that costs me a lot of boots. It's nothing fun to lose. You don't want to waste boots if you can't. But obviously, in my case, I just kind of had to waste boots to, to make this happen. So again, that's just a new boot on my end. Uh, next time around, well, obviously, we'll try to avoid that next time around. But um, and again, you know, you can see here that you know he's about a minute out, so not much time left. And yeah, essentially, from here on out, he basically gets completely wiped. We basically clear him out of all of his gold. And that's pretty much for the, for the video, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.